Monday afternoon, this Centerville neighborhood just east of I-15 saw quite the commotion. I'm used to hearing sirens from the freeway and, you know, things like that, but they were closer and my dog started freaking out. So I kind of peeked my head out the window and saw multiple of them, looked out my kitchen window, saw him pulling through the parking lot, and that's where they boxed him in. Tishina Lukenbach says she was scared she might be in danger. I saw him be tased and he was pulling out the taser and then started throwing mail out the truck. I was like, okay, this is more serious than what I thought. Just outside of her window, police were trying to get a 32 year old man who stole a USPS mail truck in Salt Lake City to comply with them. He had a knife on him and was displaying the knife. Centerville Police Chief Paul Child says the suspect barricaded himself in the truck in one moment, then was pretending the plastic end of a shovel was a gun in the next. He continued to try to, to act as if he had a rifle and was pointing it at the officers. Um, again, erratic behavior on his part. Police say the investigation started just before 1 p.m. when the suspect threatened a postal worker with a knife before stealing the mail truck. He was taken into custody almost an hour and a half later. They were able to, with less lethal, shoot him in the hands multiple times. Again, uh, he fought through that. Um, was still uncompliant, still throwing things at officers and still acting in a threatening behavior. Before officers were able to stop the driver, Chief Child says he was involved in multiple hit and runs. This mail truck tried to run two people over in the parking lot. Um, they had to jump out of the way. Luckily, the postal worker whose truck was stolen is not injured. In a statement to Fox 13 News, Rod Spurgeon with the USPS wrote, quote, Unfortunately, our employee experienced a challenging situation today. Thankfully, the employee is safe. During this sensitive time, our primary focus is on offering support to our employee. We are also providing counseling and assistance to help them navigate through this experience. In Centerville, Jenna Bree, Fox 13 News, Utah.